guys, I'm here to do my July favorites. And um, my July favorites are definitely um, way less than they were in June. If you guys did not see my June favorites, definitely there will be a link here. And if you're watching this on mobile, I will also put it in the description box because you won't see it up in here. Okay, so the first item is going to be my CVS facial cleansing brush. And excuse, it is dirty. I, I will. I used it um, last night when I cleaned my face, and I need to get a new brush. So it's rather stained. But because I use this, if I don't use it every day, I use it almost every day. Some days, if I forget, or I just want to wipe my face and go to sleep and don't feel like you know brushing it all over my face then I don't use it but this is the CVS pharmacy version of the Olay cleansing brush this one is only $20 the um, Olay one is $30 if you want to use a cleansing mistaken. brush but you don't want to spend $200 on the cleric sonic and you don't want maybe don't want to spend $30 or I've seen the Olay one from $30 to $40 then this one is really good and it's only $19.99, but you can always you always have you can always get coupons from CBS. Like if you sign up for the emails, they'll send you like coupons for 20% off off a regular price item or 20% off in general or four dollars off for 20 or three dollars off or five dollars off or you can use your extra bucks and so and a lot of times the CVS brand stuff is on sale so you can buy like the brush and then buy some additional facial heads to go with it and then use your coupon so it's pretty many ways you can get this for less than $19.99 so I didn't pay $19.99 for mine but what I will say is it is worth $19.99 because it's darn sure is not where I don't think I will spend $200 on a facial brush and this one is not too harsh and you can use it it's it's not too rough to where you can't use it every day. So Next I is love the this NYC Sun and Bronze Highlighter. That just came out so nice. And it looks like this. Now what I like about this is I really like the way the highlight looks. Um, I've been trying different highlights in my collection trying to find the right one. And I noticed that I really like this one more than any other ones that I have been putting on. I've been using, I've been trying to use my collection more often, so I've been grabbing different items. So I've been shopping my stash pretty much. And um, I'm gonna do videos on that, so be on the lookout for that. But so this I really like because of the highlight look, that the way the highlight looks, and it looks like that. And um, and I rub it in. Hopefully you can see it. You might can't. But um, I like to use when and when I wear this, I use a stipple, my small stipple brush from Elf, and I like the way it applies with that. So definitely, if you haven't tried this, um, definitely pick it up. I mean, NYC products are already cheap. This one is like I think it's like three dollars or something like that. I had this for the longest time. I thought it would be a pretty highlight. It was on sale at Rite Aid for 40% off. So I picked it up, never used it, and I love this stuff. Like, it's amazing how you neglect your makeup collection. So this will be in more of a rotation. So definitely love this. And the last item should not be, oh wait a minute, there's one more item, but this item you should already know that this is my favorite. This is the Kiss Aqua BB Cream. This one is a medium. I wear this every time I have on makeup, except for when I want a little bit more coverage. But this is buildable, so if you want to make it full coverage, you can. Um, it's just that I have, you know, multiple foundations, so I try to use them when I want. I try to use them more often now. So I definitely wear this to work because it's light. And I would definitely worry because in the summertime, it's, it, it's summertime, so it's hot. And it, the, I don't, it's light, I don't feel it on my face. You know, it's not like I have on a heavy foundation, should I say so. If you have not tried this, definitely try it. I do have a review slash demo, and I'll put the link here and in the description box. So definitely check it out if you have not 
tried it. It is way better than the Maybelline BB Cream. Maybelline BB Cream sucks. Sorry, it does. And my last item is a nail polish. And it's called, well, it's a nail gel, sorry. It's called Pink Amar or Amore, like that. And it's a nail gel. I got this from Walgreens. It's like, it was in their as seen on TV um, section, which I've never seen this on TV. But I use this on my nails because um, I don't want to, I don't really want to go to the nail shop and get my nails done because I don't really want tips. Because when I, every time I have tips, when they take the nails, when I take the nails off, my nails are so thin and fragile and brittle and, you know, they be going through things. So I just don't um, want tips on my hand nails anymore. So right now I'm just trying to let my nails grow out and I like to use this because my nails don't break. And it works really good as like a top coat because I put this on my toes and I'm not going to show you my toes because um, I'm just not. But uh, I put this on my toes when I did my toenails and I did my toenails uh, the 30th of June. Yes. And I still have the same polish on. It is chipping. But... I mean, as far as, there's like one nail that really chipped, but it, it, the other ones, I still look the same. So it's been almost a month and my toenails look almost the same except for one toe. So if it, it, that's pretty darn good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and see if you can use this as a base coat and a top coat. And I'm gonna do my nails with like a polish or I might do a, um, what is it? French manicure. Well, that's my July favorites. Um, definitely let me know your July favorites. I do, when you tell me your July favorites, if I haven't used it already, I, I will check it out. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.